Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tennis Brothers video. In this video, me, Felix, played a British Tour event here in the UK. And this is, is the top 12 points from my match. I think it would believe this was in the second round, but the player was the seed number five, I believe. A UTR 12, 11.61 at the time. Higher ranked, higher rated. So I knew going into this match that I'd have to really put up a fight. And one of the things, one or two things to mention, I guess you could say, the court, American clay court, you don't get to play on these courts a lot in the UK. So it was obviously, you know, get, took some getting used to, but I feel me personally, I really like the surface. I was really able to not make a lot of mistakes and really make my opponent have to hit winners like that one to try and win the point. And so my aim, you know, strategy going into this match against the left-handed player, I'd say drive to the backhand, try and make him play, not be run over, I guess you could say. By that, I mean not let him dominate the points like we just saw, not put the ball too deep, put him under enough pressure and try and force the errors and be extremely solid. You know, the ret return games, I want to be making 80, 90, 100%, you know, of the returns. And that's something that, you know, when you're making a lot of returns, your opponent's going to have to play a lot of first balls, a lot of second balls, and the more rally balls and, and less free points you're giving him on the, his serve, the more, point, the more service games you're, you're going to win. I definitely felt as well that it was quite a hot day. You don't see it too much on the camera, but the ball was really kind of bouncing quite high, and the court is pretty slow. So like this, you can see you can reset the point quite easily. My aim in these kind of longer rallies was to save a bit of energy, I guess you could say, because I know that the balls, he, he can't really hit a winner because the court is extremely slow. And so just kind of making the ball, making sure that I'm in the right position on all of the shots and trying to drive it to his backhand where he's obviously a lot less dangerous. He had a very, very strong forehand. And like here, he's trying to bait me into going down the line, but eventually, you know, forcing the error. I think that was more the story of the match, I guess you could say. One thing to note as well, it's very difficult to come into the net. If you're not quick enough to move forward and get really close to the net, you can see like that my opponent was able to pass me with a really nice uh, passing shot winner. And that's something that I found throughout the entire match. It was almost putting me off coming to the net, which is not a good thing. You always want to be able to press and, and come to the net and finish the point at the net. But like this, you saw, you've got to be really clinical and put the ball away when you're at the net because your opponent's always going to find a way of getting the ball back because the ball pretty much stops on this surface. You know, the ball doesn't really travel too quickly and you're able to really get behind, behind the ball and like this, reset the point almost. So he's there and I've done the exact same thing that he'd done. You know, angle cross court and found a way through, I guess. Sometimes, obviously, playing on a surface like this, some of those high balls are actually super effective because they kind of open up a chance. And obviously, that's a great winner passing shot right there. But you almost feel like Rafa Nadal just hitting with loads and loads of spin and height and dominating with the forehand side. That was something I really enjoyed doing on these courts when you, when you have a bit more time, I guess you could say. And like that, driving it high to the backhand, doing it like all the time, and then kind of getting it inside out where you can move him off the court and then try and finish the point. But he had some great gets and was really able to, to make a lot of balls into the court. And like you can see, I've had to hit five or six really good attacking forehands and then he suddenly just resets the point. And that's something you've got to deal with in tennis, especially on these, on these surfaces, on the clay at least. It's when they reset the point, how do you deal with it? And can you manage to, you know, to keep a hold of, of the rally and not, not let it slip away from you from, and go from attack to defense? A lot of rallies were also quite scrappy in terms of the, you know, a lot of slicing, a lot of moving. And you couldn't particularly slide particularly well on these courts, so you know, change of direction was difficult. And when you can go back behind like my opponent did there, it's very, very effective. I think this, this was the longest rally of the match, this one. I believe, if I remember correctly. And you can see my opponent just driving it to my backhand. I think of the two sides, that is my slightly weaker side in terms of aggression. I, I'm, I'm perhaps a bit more solid on the backhand, but I find a way of you know, winning the points. And this was the match point, actually. There we go. And I, I won the match by coming into the net. But I thought I'd also show you one or two extra points, which were 
of particular interest. Bonus clips, I guess you could say, because there it was a great match and there were a lot of great points. But these were just one or two where, you know, I thought particularly that they were, you know, good points. You can see here my opponent using his forehand, really ripping it into the, into the space. And um, me here looking to come into the net and be aggressive. Just playing that's a difficult volley. I managed to get there and play the drop shot into the space. And on this court, of course, that's a super effective shot because the drop shot pretty much just stops in the box where you hit it. So if you've got good hands, you'll definitely favour these courts. And again, they're coming into the net, not quite being able to finish. That was one of the key themes. So you need to be very decisive and uh, clinical when it comes to the net. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.